Hey everyone, it's Reed, and I'm in my bathroom where the shower and stuff is. Crazy little thing happened to me. My hot water heater, the little one that I had with the valve mixer and all that stuff to control, you know, the temperature and stuff and get more out of it and be super efficient, it died. The video where I show all that up here, if you want to go take a look, it's pretty neat. Show all of it. Well, died about six years. Apparently that's as long as they last. They have a very thin tank and it just doesn't seem to hold up very well. I was looking on the internet, big thing all over the place. So, got a problem there. I currently have no hot water, but do I? I have been making hot water on the stove. Now remember all this stuff? The valves and all that where I can turn things on and off and all that? Well, still works. So I can turn the valve on like this, have my pump suck water out of a vessel, push water into here, push it up this, comes across and then comes back down. Now with the cold water off, it's not gonna go there. I can turn the hot valve on, okay? And then hot water. So I can take a shower. I can pipe hot water to the washing machine, hot water to the dishwasher, hot water to the sink. Just takes a lot more effort. But if things go crazy and weird, I still have hot water and things. Now let me get some of the setup. I can show you kind of what it looks like. And you guys can laugh and giggle along the whole way stuff. Now. I have a solution to my hot water woes, and we will be getting to it very soon. I'm looking forward to getting the parts in stock. I have to fabricate a couple things. And I'll take you along for the entire ride, and you can go, Reed, what the heck, dude? But this new hot water setup, it will be efficient just like the last one. Be a little bit bigger. Lee will like her baths. And the other thing, I don't have to worry about this tank coming apart on me ever again, most likely. <laughs> Let me get this set up and show you what's going on. Okay, the first thing I've done is I've poured boiling water in here. And I got this little infrared thermometer thing and it's showing the water's 160 degrees. Uh, that's hot. That's pretty hot. So, we have cold water. We're going to add to it. So right now, my bypass is pumping out cold water for me. And we just monitor the water. And we're going to aim for about 112 degrees and stuff. So let me get back to you for how I got this all set up. As you saw, Asher uh, thinks the water's just fine. <laughs> well, let me give you the quick nickel tour and you can see how it's kind of set up and so on from there. Now, I have a video where I showed how to make this sort of ad hoc hot water system in the past. Link will be up here. Go check it out if you haven't seen that one. It's an old one, so uh, giggle at the very, very low quality things. Uh, at least I hope I'm getting better. <laughs> Let me know if you go watch the old one. Anyways, let's take a look. Okay, so here is the pickup tube and stuff. It picks it up, gets the water, and run over here to our pump. Pump grabs it, and this is a filter to grab like any hair, little particles and all that stuff. It'll mess up the diaphragm. Pumps along this red, okay? There is what we were bypassed. Now it's gonna be input, come up into there, go into here, and this, since we're gonna do a shower, these valves are off. So for showering, these valves are gonna be off, so water's not going anywhere. She's gonna come up this, go through here, and then make a nice shower. And I'm gonna take a shower, get ready for the day. And we'll show you guys the rest of all the other repairs and home construction, so it'll be manifestation of Reed's home improvement for a little while. <laughs> take care, everyone. Have a great day. Read out.